I love collaborating with Q-Tip. I love collaborating with Swiss. I love collaborating with Pharrell Timberland, which is why they're the executive producers of my, my album. This is also a testament to how many times we've collaborated on every album. Like these dudes have been a part of my legacy for the last 20 plus years. And, you know, it, it's, 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 it's obvious that there's an ongoing relationship that we enjoy revisiting every time we get the opportunity to. And I love collaborating with my brother Spliff Star. Actually, me and Spliff Star got a project coming soon too. Spliff Star's full throttle. He ready to he ready to shoot on a whole nother level with like not the handguns neither. The shit that the the shit that fire from the motherfucking aircraft carriers, Playboy. Ever since the inception of the idea, I knew that the expectation level was gonna be crazy because I knew that the expectation level for me was crazy. And it's funny because it's like the idea came about as a result of Pharrell. We was all in Miami, me, Timberland, Swiss, Pharrell. And Pharrell invites us to a yacht one day just to have bro time, chill out with our families, our friends, kids. At the time, Swiss was completing DMX's last album. And I think this is the first time that I actually heard the album in its entirety, rest in peace to the dog, DMX. And I'm sitting here saying to myself, I don't know if these dudes is ready to even entertain this idea, but I think I would be the most biggest asshole if I was to leave this environment and not even just pop the question and be like, yo, it would be absolutely blasphemous for me to sit here and look at y'all face to face, be in this close proximity. We talking about so much shit other than one thing that we should possibly be talking about. And that's doing a project together. I'm feeling so amazing and excited about the music the bros are sending me. I'm fucking wilding in the studio. I'm going stupid. I'm bouncing off the wall, ape shit in the lab every day. I started just recording with a few other dope producers and I just started running it past my bros because, you know, obviously they executive producing the project with me. There is nothing about this shit that ain't focused primarily on feel good fucking energy from A to Z. That's it. We bringing it back to motherfuckers wanting to throw the couch in around, throw the couch around in the club and fucking hang from the chandeliers and swing from the chandeliers and shit and be in the free spirit space, have a good time, feel like they just want to turn up on the trillionth level of feel good energy. And that's the vibe, man. Like that's really where it's at. If you dope, I'm looking for you. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't running from you. I'm gonna run towards you because, and, and it's not just a female thing. It's any MC that's dope because there's a, you know, when we unveil a track list and everybody get to see who's, who's on the album, you're going to see a, a nice range of an incredible, incredible, carefully selected group of amazing talent that pulled up to help me put this masterpiece together. Bia and Koi don't rap over their shit. I've seen them perform. They perform with me. You know, they, they get busy live and they can handle their breath control and they could do their choreography and that showmanship is important. But the one thing that's undisputed as a truth from what I'm able to see and experience is ain't nothing more successful out here than this hip hop thing, regardless of what's being talked about from a touring uh, pers perspective and point of view, from a record sales perspective and point of view, from the way the music is still dominating the marketplace from every aspect, whether you want to turn the radio on or you, you want to turn it off, wherever you want to listen to music from, you ain't hearing no other music more than this hip hop. I understand there's other genres of music that's popping. Don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of all of it. We are in the middle of completing the international leg of the tour. So we in Munich, Germany tonight. Jeremiah on stage right now. I get on next and then 50 come in a flat line of shit after. <laughs> I heard you, I heard you boys say, you know, it's the hottest tour on the, on the market right now. Hottest tour of the other season. I'm not going to lie. I, this, I've, I've been seeing a lot of incredible tour experiences happening and salute to everybody. You know, Beyonce look like, you know, when you got, you got Diana Ross coming out every night and you, 
you selling out these stadiums. You, it ain't really nothing you can say to that. So salute the Queen, Beyonce. Salute Drake. Mm-hmm. Taylor, you know, he, he ran around and flatlined everything with Twenty One Savage, and you know, salute. I seen Little Baby was on the tour for a little while too, out there killing them. You ain't hearing nothing more than this rap shit. You ain't experiencing nothing in life more than the hip hop influence culturally. And we're gonna continue to have fun. And we're going to continue to bust their ass and continue to give them the energy that you can't question. This is 10th solo album because if you're talking about Year of the Dragon album, that album was an album that I gave away for free. And I actually did that as a specialty deal with Google Play at the time when Google Play was launching. So at the time, they didn't have everything together because they were such a new platform that was launching. They didn't really have the... They, they shit together with, you know, uh, Neil, Scan, Neil Soundscan, and they didn't have it. They, 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 just all of the, the kinks that needed to be worked out with Billboard and so on and so forth so that they was able to actually sell the music from the platform and everything would count. I didn't think that it was in my best out interest to sell the album. What we really did was we just tried to create a dope relationship dynamic with Google Play where we could just offer content that they was willing to license at the time to help promote the platform. And it worked, you know what I'm saying? It worked for everybody, you know what I mean? The way they they allowed us to just be free with what we do creatively. They, they, they respected everything about what we wanted to do and how we wanted to represent ourselves as artists and when it came to the art. And they did right by us with, with the business and you know, it, one thing led to another, and you know, we we was a part of something historical with launching that platform. So big up to Google, Google Play. Now I'm about to fuck the stage up. We out here in Munich, Germany. Big up Jeremiah. Big up Fifty Cent. Final lap tour. Time to flatline shit. Thanks for having me. Everybody, stay tuned. Blockbuster album, executive produced by Swiss, myself, Timberland, Pharrell.